Yeah, like, th this this is what I was so happy to see when he was leaving the field is that he was actually able to to you know hand on his head like he's not passed out. What is going on guys, it is JJ here with a new Euro 2021 video. Obviously we're not going to show any single bit of the absolute, the, the collapse, anything like that. I did, I was live recording during the game uh, and just decided that it, it, it was not worth it. It was not worth actually showing the footage. Uh, it was devastating. It was devastating to actually watch in real time the collapse of Christian Eriksen and I'm hoping, praying, thoughts are with him for I feel like everyone in the world uh, has those thoughts and those prayers. Uh, obviously, the use of a defibrillator in that instance actually went out and, and, and helped Christian Eriksen. I don't know what they said happened, whether it was literally just like a, a, a collapse. From, I don't know. But obviously, we still there's still so many updates, so much a part of the situation. Although he has FaceTimed the team, they continue to play. When he has come out and said he's okay. However, we're going to take a look at the actions of not only Anthony Taylor, but Simon Kiar, or I don't know, I was probably saying his name wrong, something about Danish, but his own center back going out and actually saving his life, uh, or the actions that he took saving his life. This video pretty much just to recognize him. I mean, uh, other than that, we're not going to do a Denmark in the review. We're not going to show the same footage. Uh, literally, it, I of watching it. It's just terrifying. But this will be a short video, I think, recognizing the actions of Anthony Taylor, of Simone Yair, and obviously the medical staff on hand in the Euros, and the players actually going out to protect, to take care of, and uniting uh, with each other for Christian Eriksen. Now, obviously, Denmark did not get the result they wanted in the game. The fact that the game continued to play, I know Eriksen said, go out and play, but that's rough. It's emotionally rough to go through that game. But we're going to go through a short video. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Uh, obviously, prayers are with Chris Christian Eriksen. Yeah, let's get into the video. As all well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. It's just like one of these nice little football videos. Obviously, yeah. The Denmark fans that were actually there, I, I, I was terrified for. Because just, I mean, the fact that the coverage for it stayed on Eriksen for that long was insane to me. And they did replays and everything. I was like, don't, don't replay this. There's no reason to replay it. Yeah, like, th this, this is what I was so happy to see when he was leaving the field, is that he was actually able to, to, you know, hand on his head, like he's not passed out, gone. But there's still so much that we don't know about this whole situation, and it's terrifying. Exactly, and that's the entire point of this video. It is the entire point of this video to highlight Captain Simone Yair's Yair, Yair, oh God, I don't even know his name. His actions, literally pulling, pulling his tongue out of his mouth, pulling him to the side, and then standing in solidarity with their teammates, with their brothers, to protect him and consoling his wife. I don't know how, they, yeah, I don't know how they could have sat there and uh, watched that and just not been heartbroken. It literally, it, it, it just, it baffled me. Still thinking about it, I literally, just my heart and stomach, it just, it just sinks, it just drops. Because you have no clue what's happening in that situation at all. Oh, I'm, okay, I like this. I have more fans here than I thought. I'm a tear up just sitting here watching this. Yeah, I don't like that image of literally seeing him on his side, just staring off into space. I. Yeah, that's 
rough. That really is rough to watch. Uh, once again, Anthony Taylor as well. I think that's the thing that I wanted to highlight, literally, maybe not even just Simone Yair, but Anthony Taylor immediately recognizing that this was not just a normal player just drop it. Literally, the ball hit him and his body... I, it's so weird to even reminisce and talk about it, but his body just dropping and Anthony Taylor immediately running to him, call, calling for help, running to him. And that is when the captain took over, pulled the sun out of his mouth, stayed by his side as the other players, did. they didn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to do in that situation. You could be CPR certified, but the, the sort of shock in that situation just kind of takes you by, by the hand and it's just like, what? What, what do you do? But yeah, uh, while it is a rough, rough situation, obviously we wish still nothing but the best for Christian Eriksen. We haven't had any updates, I don't think, as of this moment. It's 10 a.m. my time here in the United States, so it's about 4 or 5 o'clock in Europe. I think at this moment there have been no updates outside of that he is awake and he's stable condition. But like nothing that we know about him or, or anything of that sort. But yeah, once again, highlighting the actions of the Denmark captain, as well as Kasper Schmeichel for going and consoling his wife as well during that time. Honestly, you in times like this, you learn what really does matter. It's not the sport itself. It's the people involved in the sport. It's what the sport can bring us together to do. And that's some that's, that's amazing things. So, yeah, big up Anthony Taylor. Big up Simone Yair. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Please let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments below. If you guys watched it, what sort of went through your head while watching Christian Eriksen's uh, incident? Because I'm not going to say injury. I'm not going to say... Yeah, incident, I think, is the right word. What would you guys have done in that situation? Like, actually, like, thinking about it, what actions would, do you think you could have even done or thought to do? Or, like, what what would have happened? In that, well, I sh shouldn't say what would have happened. Because Christian Eriksen would have been okay. Well, look at the bright side of it. He would have been okay anyway. It wouldn't have mattered. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And peace. Everyone, be well.